What a way to end the season. Oh, honestly, I think, you know, I think the lads were gutted about what had happened during the season, you know, falling out of the top three. But I think if we could go back and swap places, not a chance. You know, I think if you're going to do it, it's possibly the best way to do it. And, you know, with these set of lads, it's something that we'll never forget. Best way to do it. It's not just doing it like that. It's doing it at Wembley after a really good performance, after a battling display in extra time and then doing it on penalties where everybody scores. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think that the manner of the game was something we've had all season. You know, just that belief system in the... You know, maybe late on in the game and you're one nil down at Wembley, you know, in the playoff final, but then we're going to score in what is it, like the eighty fourth minute or something like that. Um and then we're actually very unfortunate to not go win the game from there within the ninety, never mind the hundred and twenty. Um I thought, you know, we showed a real dominance in the second half, you know, in all of extra time to be honest with you. I thought we dominated the game, we defended well, we attacked well. And then, like you said, you know, you go and do it on a penalty shootout, which even at all odds, it's against you. Even from the off, you know, the the coin toss, it's at their end, they go first. And yet, we've still come out on top. You know, we've been practicing for a couple of weeks now and all the lads have stepped up and everyone scored the penalty and the big man's made a brilliant save. Just before we talk about your penalty, you're a toes width away from scoring the goal. I know Marzi put it away, <laughs> but the lad just got there. The, the pass from Joel, it was coming straight for your boot. Yeah, oh, honestly. Um, I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of happy. I could, probably would have missed it, knowing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, you know, it's one of them where, as a nine, I'm a box player, and, you know, the ball's coming across, and he's just somehow got a stud on the end of it, and it's fallen perfectly for Maz. And, you know, no doubt about it, Maz has struck it in the back of the net and we've we've got an equaliser from it. And you know, I think all the hard work that Amari puts in and, you know, even playing as a striker sometimes where he's had to and it's not his natural position, he doesn't favour it. You know, he's he's got his head down, he's done a job and you know, he deserves it. Going into that first period of extra time, what do you say to each other? Because there was a feeling from us watching that Stockport had gone a little bit. Would you agree with that? Honestly, that's what the gaffer said as soon as we came in. You know, we came into the hole, he said, Look, they've gone here. We've got the legs on them, we've got the belief on them, you know. I think you could see towards the end of the ninth they were clinging on for dear life. And, you know, we were just, we tried to be as relentless as we could. You know, it was difficult because of the heat, the situation of the game. Um, and it's a big pitch, <laughs> you know, it's a big pitch, it's a big occasion and it does affect you, of course it does. Um, but, you know, when the gaffer brought us in, I think all the lads spoke to each other and like ourselves as well. And we said, you know, we, we've got a great belief in this, we, we can do this, you know we can get promoted here um, and I don't think that left anyone's mind once I think we called it you would be one of the five how do you choose where you're going Edmore is it not your choice are you, are you told which part of that picking order you're in um, honestly yeah so we came in and the gaffer said look you know after all the practice and stuff we've been doing this week uh, last week I think it was even leading up to the first leg of the Bradford game I believe um, that's when we started practicing them and the gaffer's recorded every single penalty that's gone on. You know, who, which side you've gone, if you've scored it, if you've missed, if the keeper saved it. And then he's got all that data together and he's brought everyone in. He said, right, this is the order. Deno, Mo uh, Deno Mels, Edmo, Mox, Charters, they're your five. And then he ran through the rest of the list as well. Um, I think us five kind of got together and said, you know, just, just back yourselves. You know, everything you've been doing in training over the past couple of weeks, don't change a thing. Um, and I remember actually <laughs> after Deno and Mel's penalties, um, the lads came to me and they were like, "Oh, the referee said you're not allowed. It's got to be like one singular motion." I was, I was stuttering in my penalties. I was like, "Well, cheers for that, lads." <laughs> you stitched me. Wembley playoff final. I'm about to go up for a penny. You're telling me that I've got to change my penalty. Um, but you know, I just stuck to it. Um, stuck to what I've been doing, and you know, keeper's gone the other way. Gone the other way, you've sent him the other way, Edmund, because the way you did it, there's no power. No, that's wrong, that's a bad description. There's not anything thrashed about it, you're placing it, you know where you're going. If he goes the right way, that's a very difficult way to score a goal. You've done it, calm, cool, unbelievable penalty. I think, yeah, you know, uh, unfortunately for me, last year in the semi final against Swindon, um, I'd done a different penalty and I've absolutely shanked it and the keeper saved it, and I thought. You know what? I'm just going to change my whole kind of perception of a penalty, my approach, my run-up, the way that I take it, the lot. Um, 
And I just found that being able to look at the keeper, you know, slow your penalty down, take as long as you can on it. Even even doing that stutter, just watch the keeper the whole way. And you know, I think probably took about fourteen penalties in the past two weeks, and I think I've missed one. The big man saved one about four days ago. Um, and then every other time the keeper's gone the wrong way. Um, and you know, luckily enough for me, he's he's gone well. I've sent him the wrong way and I just rolled it in the other side. You had a TB, you never I'm gonna to have to let you go. Thank you for talking to us. Absolutely brilliant. No problem. Thank you.